Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for taking your time and coming to this talk. Um, today we'll, go, we'll talk about some dockerizing Optimum server stuff. And later I will show also how to dockerize, dockerize the emulators. Have you been in a previous talk in this room with the Diego? Uh, I guess that there will be some similar stuff and uh, Diego was talking about the infrastructure. I will present how to do it in local machines, some, some part of it. And I guess I will present some solutions from the Diego's projects that he was contributing. Um, so my name is Sarkis. Um, this is my second time in Bangalore. After three years, I, I, I returned back to this, um, to this wonderful Indian city. Um, right now I'm working for the PixArt, which is a creative uh, photo editing tool, uh, which has more than one, one hundred thirty-seven well, like millions active users per month. Um, and we are dealing with the automation stuff, and this is the one of the solution that we are trying to implement in our company also, to have a better automation in terms of the smooth releases. Uh, right now, I'm leading the, the whole quality insurance team in the PixArt, and I'm, um, uh, I have the director of the quality insurance position there. So let's go start it. Um, today's agenda is like, we'll talk about a bit introduction, why actually we need, what is the purpose of doing this stuff. We'll get similar with the uh, Opium Docker. Um, We'll run test on a real device using the dockerized Opium server. We'll set, set up it with a Docker Compose file to make it easier. Rather, we will use Android emulator inside the Docker. We'll, I will show some, uh, some tricks, um, how to connect via Wi-Fi or how to simulate the SMS. And then in the end, you will we'll connect it to the Selenium hub um, and uh, with the host. And then we'll run the tests through the Docker, um, like uh, Opium Docker and the uh, emulator inside the Docker, we'll connect everything together and we'll run everything dockerized. And then I hope we'll have a like, like short time for the quest question and answer. Uh, if we'll not manage, just um, ping me outside. And uh, also I would like to offer you, if you have a question in the middle, just raise your hand, I will stop. We'll talk about the question and later we'll continue. Because there are a lot of technical stuff and better to like uh, ping me on the spot instead of waiting in the end. So the, the worst case that I will do it will be like, I will talk about that a bit later. So <laughs> see what's happening. So actually why we need this? Um, this is one of the testing pyramids. I had the testing pyramid already, but this, is one, uh, this one is a bit different. This is more related to the mobile testing one. And uh, if you take, uh, take a look at this pyramid, you will see that um, there is uh, one part here, like the simula simulators and emulators should be more than the real devices and the devices. This is also about the take talking about the shifting left. So as left, as early we are finding the bugs, as cheaper they are, so this is also the one. So if we have a test on the simulators and we are running them continuously and uh, more, more frequently, we'll, we'll catch the bugs more in the left part instead of here. So uh, today we will talk about this part, about the simulators and the emulators, how we can organize this part. Uh, this is all about the local environment, so because there are other options like, like Journey Motion that you can use, but this is already like cloud services. So we are, today we are talking about the local, local ones. So um, this will help us to get the quick setup of the automation environment. We will speed up our opium tests. We'll um, automate the steps um, done by the auto, um, automatically, and we will be able to run on a real device and on the emulators. So what is the Opium? I will skip this one because if you are here, everyone are here, we are like know the basic, the, um, uh, the basic of the, what is the Opium, what is doing actually, how it's doing. And um, this is the simple high level um, uh, architecture of the how is Opium working. There's a test runner. There is um, Opium ADB uh, and it's connected to the device um, via USB. 
So actually what we are doing with this solution, we take taking this part and putting it inside a Docker container. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and this part like is it, the, the ADB with the Appium living in a container, we just connect it to the, to the test runner and then um, to the, to the um, device. Actually this part also could be Dockerized, so it can be leaving another Docker container, this one's in another Docker container, we're just connecting them each other, yeah? So, um, there is uh, one, um, one thing that you need to have uh, Linux OS to make it easier to spin it up, everything. And it's, it's a bit hard to make it work on a Mac OS. So why I'm going into details with the steps how you can set up on a Mac OS. But if you like understand how you can set up in Mac OS, it's like super easy to do in the Linux machines, yeah? So first of all, we need a Docker, doc and Docker machine. So when you install it uh, in a Mac, usually they are coming together, Docker Compose, Docker machine, and Docker. And just you go on checking the version. So I'm, I, I, will, I already shared my slides in the conf engine, so everything you will have later. Just feel free to, to ping me if you have a question even later, yeah? So, uh, and what we are really doing in a virtual box, we are creating the Linux machine, and inside the Linux machine, we are creating all the other infrastructure. So the Docker machine, which is creates virtual box, and we are giving the name, and this is how we command running, and when it's like starting the VM, you will see this in your virtual box. Yeah. So this means that we are locally we created in a virtual box. We create one Linux machine, and um, to be able later to use the uh, like to create the visibility between this image and uh, USB ports, we need to enable the USB port. For that, we need to stop the machine. And then we need to on, turn on the USB. So this uh, virtual machine will have the visibility to the to USB ports. And you will, you will need to uh, install the USB 2.0 controller, which is like there is an extension pack. You can download it and uh, install it if you have an issue with it. So basically it's done. You can do it um, from, from the um, UI also. Uh, you just go to property, you go to ports, USB, you just tick, tick this box, which says that we are, we are enabling USB port for this machine. And after that, we're just saying the start of your machine, and here we are, we have the machine which has the visibility with the ports. After this all, we need to connect the device. And when you connect the device to the, to the host machine and coming to the same configuration page, you will see there that the, which kind of the devices are connected to it. And we are adding the Android to this machine, so which is creates the visibility to, to the device and the, and the machine, yeah? So, as we are, we are going to run the test like through the Docker machine, we need to call, kill our local ADB server and connect it from ins inside, the, inside the Docker machine, uh, which we are killing and then we are just doing the Docker machine SSH to the Opium, uh, to the Opium test machine, and here we are. And then we are executing the command ADB devices from, like, from the inside the uh, uh, Docker, like, uh, virtual box, yes? And when we do this, it says that there is a attached device, which is actually attached to the, your host, and there is a bridge connected to the, um, to the, to the machine, yeah? So uh, right now we have the um, virtual machine which is connected uh, the, and, the, and the phone connected to the virtual machine. Like after the command running, you will see on your screen that it's that the, the it's USB deb debugging wants to connect. You just need to press allow as usual. Yeah. So. Um, after this one, there is a Docker, um, a Dockerized Appium container, which we can run uh, with the Docker run command, and this will create a container with the Appium. Yeah. When you run this, okay, you, you will see that the, the container Appium is running on the specific port, and it's ready to use after the run. Yeah. So, 
right now we have everything ready to run the test through the Docker Opium. But as, as the Opium server is living inside the Docker machine, we need to give the visibility of the APK file. So it, it should have a visibility to take and install in, on a device. Yeah. So this is the command where you can just copy the file to the, inside to the container. So this is copying specific file and moving it to, to the specific location in the container. So we are, we are moving it to the o, OPT and then the name is the Pixar APK. Yeah? And um, after this, we just need to um, show that here our, our like, application is here and the rest is the capabilities that you used to do. And then we're just running the tests, giving, I'm just mapping to the um, Docker run. So, yeah. So this is the situation when I connect the real device to the host machine, I created the virtual box. Inside the virtual box, there is a Docker Opium running. I move the application file to the Docker container to have the visibility and then point my tests to, to that server and it's run through the Docker. Is it clear what we are talking about? Yeah. It's, it's really fun, uh, yeah. Running, the running test is from the local machine. Yeah, it's in local machine. So as I said in the beginning, there is a way also to dockerize that test runner part, but that's another story. It's not related to this. Yeah? Good. So um, I believe that all of you know about the Selenium host, Selenium hub grid. So when you want to connect this Opium server, which is running inside the Docker to the specific Selenium host, you, while you are running the docker run command, you just need to pass, connect to the grid, true. You, we are passing the opium host, we are passing the opium port, ho and then selenium host on the port. And with passing these parameters, we'll connect it, like it's the same command with the specific parameters. We are connecting the specific opium server to the selenium host. And to not every time collect this, do you know what is the Docker Compose? It's just, it's just a way of uh, easy running the Docker containers. You, you just collect all your um, parameters inside the YAML file and you just call Docker Compose up and it creates all the infrastructure for you with the Docker. So th there is also an uh, example of it. Uh, in the end, I will share with you the um, GitHub link where I have like some uh, small framework created in the page object pattern, and there's also all these files that you can reuse it. Yeah. So and we just call docker compose up. You, you see that in this docker compose, we say that we will need one Selenium hub, and we will need an Android uh, uh, Opium, uh, which depends on Selenium hub, which means that um, when you call docker compose up, it will up the Selenium hub, and it will wait until it uh, succeeds. And then after that, this dependency talks about that. After that, it will start to run the opium and make the connection. Yeah. And after that, you will have all the Selenium hub and then um, uh, opium registered in the Selenium hub. Later in the end, I will show the ex working example. There is a way um, to connect your device via Wi-Fi to the host. Did you try it ever? Does it work for you? Yeah. Uh, as long as we have a sta stable Wi-Fi connection in the office, that's the cool stuff. You are putting somewhere and charging, and then connecting via Wi-Fi, and then you don't care about, uh, uh, about the phone. Yeah, there, there are some, but um, uh, if you do the basic stuff, it's like, with the opium, it worked for me. Uh, and uh, this is the steps how you can do it. It's just the fun, fun and the easy stuff that you can do, and then in a certain situation, you can use it. Uh, you just 
call the command adb tcp ip on the 555 where the adb lives and then uh, you turn off your phone from the host machine and then you do adb connect and the device ip and then when you do the adb devices you will see your device there without connecting to the to the host machine physically yeah and yep this is this is the steps how you can do it Yep, you, do, you just do this um, ADB TCP IP and then it will start successfully and then connect to the IP and then ADB devices, you will see just instead of the ID, you will see the, your, your device ID, the device IB here. And after that, you can like just the same way run the tests. This is connected with the um, um, Wi-Fi and it's doing all you, you will see that it's running the device with the IP, not the, not the ID. So, good. Here we are. It was run. All these tests that I'm showing you here, the codes are available in the GitLab. It's public. So you can go to my GitHub account and uh, just see the code and the test that I wrote here. Okay, now it's the um, like more fun part when we create the emulators inside the Docker container and then connecting to the, the same Optimum server, which makes it completely dockerized. So this is also why we need to, this, to do this. This is the run of our mobile and the website. Uh, like it's run, it uh, works for the mobile apps and the websites. Uh, it runs unit tests, um, unit tests uh, in, uh, in any time you want, and then. It it's can run uh, Opium, Espresso, Robotium. It's not on, uh, only Opium. And then um, it's uh, run monkey test, thread test, and the SMS testing. So, uh, this is, um, again, open source project. And there is a link under it. So if you want to go to the details, more specific documentation, you just click on the link, and you will see all the documentation there. Actually, this is the project that has the integration with the journey motion. So this advantages is that you don't need a, a VNC anything. You will see your um, emulator inside your browser, just connecting by the um, port. And there is the ability to connect again to the Selenium grid. We, it supports also real device, so you can connect your real, real device and the screen will be visible inside the uh, web, uh, web, uh, web, uh, like web page. Again, no VNC. Uh, there is the ability to record the, all the run of the tests. Uh, it's integrated also like with the cloud solutions like the Johnny Machine Cloud, and it's open source, so you are open to contribute them. So there is a specific amount of the um, emulators that you can, you can create here. So it's uh, the mainly then all the Nexus phones and the Galaxy uh, S7, S7 Edge, and the S6. Uh, this is the capacity that you can use. Uh, these are all available for it. So how we are running it? Um, here there is a one tricky stuff. You cannot do this on a Mac because it needs a nested visualization on. Um, you need a Linux machine here. Uh, all all the like, recordings that I'm showing here, it was created on the Ubuntu machine. Um, yeah, and it's, it's work fast and uh, easy there, but no way to do it on a Mac. Um, just just make sure that all the machines that you are using the nested visualization is on. There is also in the documentation that is written. So we are running it. We are mapping the like 6080 port. We are mapping the two ports for the ADBs and then giving the name of the device. And this in this uh, particular example, we are running uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 uh, and. He is. It's run, it needs some time, and then in, inside the browser, you are connecting to the host IP with the 6080 port, and you will see your uh, emulator inside the browser, giving there. Yeah? It's super, uh, super easy, fast, and um, it's, it's really, really easy to spin up the environment to, to run the test. Yep. Uh, 
Um, I didn't get. Yes. Yep, you can. You can you can run in several containers. Oh, um, I don't think that it's the best idea, but yep. You can use the general machine cloud. <laughs> of course, the solution coming here. But uh, in every container, we are we are spinning up the one 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 emulator, and it's isolated, and it has specific port, and it has specific port for each container, so to see uh, like specific emulator. So, <clears throat> if you want to connect the real device. Um, you do the same, you just call the real device, con like uh, uh, Docker containers, and then connecting the your, your real device to the host machine, and you will see the screen sharing inside the uh, browser, as, as you see for the emulator. And uh, if you want to control the device inside the uh, Docker container, we're just connecting with the ADB, giving the host, and then the port, and you will, you will control the, through the ADB inside the Docker container. Yeah? So you have access from your host machine to do that. Yeah. Okay, so um, there is a wonder, another thing to how, how you can, um, how you can uh, simulate the SMS. So it's super easy. You, uh, in this case, you just, oops, sorry. Um, you just take the authentication token from the from the uh, container, and then you are doing the telnet container IP and five 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 four, and then authenticating with the authentication token copied upstairs, and then sending the SMS. I don't know why the fonts get smaller, but they were equal. There was a time that they were equal. <laughs> so it's uh, super easy. So you can see like, copying authentication token. And then we are telling it to uh, local host, and then 5554. And when it's connected, it's they're saying it's okay. We are authenticating with the token that we already got from there, just authenticate. And that's all. And then you are sending the SMS. Yeah. SMS sent, you are giving um, the number which from it will send, and then you are giving, giving some text. And then just you get the SMS. On it. So this is really is makes the easy uh, to test the scenarios when you need some SMS configuration or you need some SMS token to send, and then your application have to read from the SMS. Yeah, sometimes when it's sending the verification code, there is a feature that it can automatically refill from the SMS. So this part can be uh, can be used uh, for testing that kind of scenarios. So um, Selenium Hub, we already talked a bit uh, before, but let's um, uh, go a bit deeper here. So um, everyone, I guess, know the, about the Selenium Hub. It's a, a smart proxy server which is controlling the connected uh, browsers and also Android uh, Android devices. So uh, to run the as like uh, Selenium Hub is like this is the the basic command. Uh, this is the um, project where uh, Diego was contributing, talking about today. And yeah, when you run it, you get it up. Um, and after that, so um, let's just revise what we have uh, uh, all all together. So we have the Opium, use the Opium Docker emulator and the Selenium grid. Yes, till now we talk about it. So uh, let's combine all these solutions to have the one solution how we can like all, all together run. Yeah, uh, this is the um, Docker Compose file for, the, for the, this, uh, this case. Uh, if you take a look, we have the Selenium hub, we have a Opium, and we have the emulator, which means that when we just run this uh, Docker Compose app, it automatically will create these three containers, it, it, and they will have the visibility to each other. Yeah. So this is like Docker Compose app. The minus there is like hiding the log, and then it creates the Selenium hub. When it's done, it creates the um, 
Opium server, and then after that, it creates the um, emulator, and after that, we have these three uh, containers running on the spot. When we run this one, and then we go localhost 444, so which is the Selenium um, uh, hub, you will see here that there is one available Android device waiting for the test. And of course, you can do it more. Like every container can be connected to the emulator and then it uh, all together can be a like, node in the, um, in the Selenium hub. Yeah, and um, here what you see, this is uh, the VNC connected from the browser. Uh, you see the Opium server is running there and the device is ready to run the tests. Yeah. And then you just run the tests and see what's happening there. You are. Yep. So all the tests are passed inside the Docker through the um, uh, Android Docker. Well, so um, this is the main part. I would like to show you also. Um, where is my mouse? Uh, the. GitHub, where you can find all the examples. Um, it's on the spot. There is an Opium page object. So here you can find all the codes that I used. There is uh, two, uh, two Docker Compose files. Um, one is the, the last one that we this is, not, this is the, the first one, which is for the real device. Um, and the next one is the, and next one, oops, yeah. I opened the same one. Yeah, and the next one is the last one, which is um, creating the Selenium hub, uh, Opium server, and then the um, uh, emulator. And yep, and here you can see all the code and the configurations that you will need. And um, like, if you have any question, just ping me. Okay, the I, how I can actually uh, share this one. I I will put this one the the, the link of this to to the to the uh, conf engine. Okay. Um, so if you have a question, just go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the virtual, yeah, uh, because uh, of the Opium server, which is running in the Docker, it, uh, it has some issue with the Mac OS. So we are with the virtual box, I'm, I'm creating the Linux machine and inside the Linux then do up like making the Docker container. So uh, directly to the, to the Mac OS there is some issues and I connect, connect it also to the contributors and they like they created some uh, steps how to do with the vi virtual box. Yeah, 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 the same issue is there. If, um, um, Yeah, yeah, which is which it doesn't work on the on the Mac machine, also. Uh, uh, let me find. Um, I, I I I was like tricking, uh, like uh, digging into a bit more, and then um, I talked to the contributors who who were creating it. And they, they said that you need to do the, to use the one. Let me find out. The, uh, 
So the main part when I was, this, this was the main source of course. And uh, here is, you can see that setting apps on Mac OS is going to the virtual machine. <sighs> I was creating this one already five months ago and I, I, I was digging into the reason but I don't remember right now what was the exact reason but later I can I can like revise the memory and find out if I will like duplicate the same stuff I will remember what was the issue but uh, the fact was that there was impossible to connect it to, to the like to uh, make it work that docker container uh, origin on the Mac so we use this way yep. any other questions No. Yeah. I I create like the PC and uh, install their like uh, Ubuntu server and then just SSH to that machine and create all the stuff there, which is like simpler. And the same thing uh, if you use it's the same machine. Uh, you can use the um, Docker Android uh, without the Docker uh, VirtualBox. So it can work also there. So you can have one powerful machine and put everything there. So there is also possibility to do exactly the same in the clouds, but uh, if you are going to pay to the cloud, it's better to use the cloud emulators, which is like faster and easier. So. Any other questions? Okay, so um, the last but not least, this is my contact. In any case, you want to contact me. Any question, anything to discuss, how we do any experience sharings, um, I will be happy to, to chat with you, to find a solution together and then exchange the experience. Thank you very much for coming. I hope this was useful for you guys. And um, uh, this is the, the use, if you are interested in just use the presentation step by step, you can go. I try to do it in a, like on a sequence of the steps to make it work in, the, in your machine. So after you, it works on your machines, later you can develop and make it nicer and a better solution for you. But this is just, just the basic steps how you can start to working with it. Thank you very much for coming.